it's Tuesday. We are using our equalizers today. It's a 50 second on with a 10 second rest. So just like yesterday, you go back, you do Mondays, and then you add this. This is day two of the whole workout. It's across the whole of the week. That makes up one workout. That makes up one real-time challenge. However, just as I've said before, if you want to just do this as a standalone workout, feel free to do it. You're still going to burn a ton load of calories and it's still going to push you and it's still going to make changes happen. The only time changes don't happen is when you don't do anything and you eat a lot of cake. That won't work either, so probably put that down. <laughs> so, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Your first exercise is squat jumps. So you're going to squat down, jump up. Big jumps, jump from the bottom. You've got 50 seconds of that, so that's going to get your heart pumping, ready for exercise two, which is what I'm going to start with. And then, as yesterday, I'm going to end on squat jumps, which is going to absolutely kill me by the time this is done. So, all we're using today is our equaliser or dip stations. If you've got them, one piece of equipment, that's all you need. You've got 10 seconds. Get ready. Get a sip of water. Are you ready? Three two squat jumps are for you two cabs are for me so we're going to show you loads of different ways you can use your equalizer two cabs first it's full body we're going to work everything today so you should have done yesterday's video if you want to do the whole thing all the way up all the way down try not to swing if you need to cross your legs like this do so i don't like it i like to keep my, my knees together i like to keep my body strong 25 seconds get them squat jumps in really low and controlled 20 come on push all the way 15 slow and controlled workouts come on eight seconds oh, i can feel that on my abs from yesterday three two last one this is your next workout so you're going to go on to tuck abs i'm going to show you the next one which yes i thought it was this one four seconds Three, two, last one. You're going to pull up and you're going to go one leg. Pull up, one leg. So you're holding your body all the way up. If you need to put your feet on the floor, do so. It's entirely up to you how you want to roll with this. Pull up, go down. It's all about strength. Using your arms to hold your body weight all the way up. 25 seconds. Oh, that means we're halfway. Come on, you should be doing your tuck abs. Oh, if you just want to do standard pull-ups, you can do that. That's fine. My arms are on fire, but I'm not quitting. 13 seconds. Oh, it's so, so difficult. Four, three, two, last one. So if you want to, you can do it just as before with the reverse pull-ups. Just stay to what you know. Stay at your level triceps okay so you should be on the one before I'm doing tricep dips on your knees so the further back you are with your body the, the harder this is because you've got to pull yourself all the way up all the way down remember keep your elbows in abs are in all the way up all the way down 30 seconds come on push go right under all the way up try and keep a straight body line all the way down. Ah, come on, use them triceps. 20 seconds. Try and get a few more pull-ups. Even if you need to put your feet on the floor, think about strong moves. I know your arms are tired. Mine are as well. And that's where the magic happens. Come on. Three, two, last one. So it's dips. How are you going to do your dips? I want to know. Do you do them off the bar? Did you do them like I did them? It's entirely up to you. So, make two bars so you can put two feet on each black bit. You got it? That's how it needs to look. Elevated to crush push ups. You need to make sure that you've got both bars, otherwise, you will slip. Remember that. Come on, get those triceps in. All the way down, all the way up. Straight body line. I know your arms will be tired, but you've got this. You are stronger than you realize. All the way. Crossing the body. You can do this on the floor if you wish. 
It's entirely up to you. If you need to drop down, drop down. You're almost there. Oh, all the way. Be safe when you cross. Time. Cross body push-ups. Uh, push see what's next. Agility runs are next. So you're going to lie them flat. Let's go. You come here. One burpee. Tuck. Run across. All about agility runs. Go down. One tuck. Across. Come on. Stay strong. All the way down. Come on. Get up. 20 seconds. Come on. Got this. 14. I know you're tired, but you've got this. Eight seconds. Three, two, last one. Agility runs. Some of these I've never done before, so I'm just trying to get used to them. So reverse touches, get your body in a straight line. You're going to take it all the way down, all the way up. Use both equalizers. Get them agility runs in. Burpee with a tuck. Come on, all the way. Straight body line. Come on, push. I'm looking at the timer. You're halfway. Keep going. Come on. You so got this. Less than 15 seconds to go. You're all over it. Here we go, last 10. You gotta keep your pelvis up. Squeeze your ass, squeeze your abs. Arms are burning. Come down slowly. Make sure you come down correctly. Okay, four seconds. Get ready, give that one a try. See what you think. So this time, we're gonna do obliques. So we go out to the side. This is where I get very envious of everybody who's got a dip station because they're a little bit higher. And for somebody with long legs, you get more of a side oblique lift. Try not to touch the floor. Try not to swing. It's all about your side obliques. My arms are shaking. 20 seconds. Come on, push. You got this. I know you got this. 15, stay tall. Can you hear my dogs? 10 seconds. Seven. Oh, my arms. Five. Three. Last one. Oh. That's yours. Here's your next exercise. Let me see it. So, you do one push up, you come all the way into your into your um, equalizers, then you go as far out as you can, you do a dip, come all the way back, one push up, all the way in, slow and controlled, come on push, try and get, get some tension on the muscle, try and get a bit of a jump in the middle, as long as you're going low on your triceps, and you're going low on your push ups, that's all I want to see. You got 18 seconds. Keep those obliques tight. 13. Oh, my arms are dead. 10. Four. Three. Two. Arms are on fire. Actually shaking. Okay. This is new for you. Make an L. You're doing one push-up, one tricep dip. Not only that, then we go into side push-ups with a knee lift. So make sure. You might want to do it this way because I've got longer arms. So you make an L and your knee. Make an L. So we're using your body different ways. Twenty-four seconds, come on, push. Arms are on fire. We got this, people. Come on. Come on, girls. 
Come on, boys, out there. Let's go. Ten seconds. I know. Five. It's taking everything I've got today. Oh. I want to see changes. I want to see changes. Say it to yourself. Make an L. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. I have to make sure my L's are correct. Don't worry about skipping a few seconds just to get it right. You've got to make sure that you've got a good L position. I know it hurts. Oh, God, it hurts. But that pain, you've got to learn to love it because that pain is where the changes are going to be made. Push. Oh. My arms are shaking. The lactic acid buildup in my arms is unbearable right now. But you got this. Six seconds. Four. Just unbelievable. Who writes these? Oh, that's me. This is your last exercise. You should be doing those side push-ups that I hope are pushing you just as much as they're pushing me. So this is your last exercise. I'm going to come all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. So we're learning to get nice, strong shoulders, taking our own body weight all the way up, all the way down. I really have to concentrate on making sure that I actually go some distance, because sometimes with this, you can feel like you're going a long way, but you're actually not. So you have to make sure that you are actually going all the way up, all the way down. Slow and controlled. Oh, shoulders on fire. Thinking of all my beast steps out there. What would they do? They'd keep going. That's your last exercise. I finish on squat jumps and my arms can't really believe that I get away with some squat jumps on this round. Let's go. You should be doing pipe push-ups all the way. Come on, push. Your shoulders are going to look so hot. It's going to be untrue. Come on, all the way. If you can't do them elevated, you do them off the floor. Okay, halfway, 20, come on, go, all the way down, try to go a bit lower, if you can, 10 seconds, this is it, don't stop till the beep goes, 3, I can't even explain to you how I'm feeling. It's like I feel so happy that I got through it. I was so accomplished. I was so like spent. I'm done. One, one and two back to back. 346 calories. You're not telling me we're not working hard. You don't have to be jumping around all the time to work hard. That's hard. Let me know what you thought. Did you go hard? Were you fresh? Did you go faster than me? I want to know all of it. Write down your scores. Let me know what they are. High five. See you tomorrow for part three. Hey. So I've just finished Tuesday, number two. My arms are shaking, and I hope yours are as well. The reason that I put these in today and tried to make them more isolated is because I want you to feel how I did when I, I had my weighted vest. I want your muscles to, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm yawning because I need some oxygen. <laughs> I want you to feel like you're pushing yourself and you're pushing each muscle, muscle as hard as you possibly can because then you're going to get that burn and that burn is the one that makes the changes. I really want you to go all out. Even if you only do one or two, I want you to get to that point just like I do every time. This is real. I'm not going through the motions. I'm actually working out with you. I've got my workout for the week and we're doing it together. So I want you to see the changes that I see. I want you to get there. I want to help you be the best you can be. 
And you have to put it in to do that. You have to take yourself out of that comfort zone. And remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. So don't be afraid of just pushing yourself just that little bit harder because that's when you'll see changes. That's when everybody that messages me and goes, how do I get lean muscles? How do I get abs? How do I get this? You've got to go hard. Oh, I'm not tired. I need oxygen. <laughs> it like, took me to the point of where I need to breathe. So really push yourself. Really go hard. Let me know what, what you liked, what you didn't like. Are your shoulders on fire like mine are? Look, I'm actually resting on my knees. That's how much <laughs> my shoulders are hurting. Oh, so let me know what you thought. I want you to post all your pictures. Don't be afraid of posting too many pictures. You can never post enough because I promise you someone out there is getting motivated by you. So keep posting, keep sharing your feedback, keep letting us know what you like. Did you like the way that we do this together now in this format or the, rather than the other format? We always want to hear your feedback. And I hope tomorrow your shoulders are as sore as mine are because <laughs> it doesn't work if we're not going through this together. We need to go through this journey together. And it is a journey. It's the journey of who can keep going the longest. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mm-hmm.